Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you have been blessed? ¿Cuánto ha sido bendecido? Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Kevin, it's going to be short, I promise. Hallelujah. What's the mic? Hallelujah. Yakira. Le vamos a traer. Hallelujah. Una. Una palabra. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to bring you guys a word of encouragement or devotion. Estimulación. Motivación. Hallelujah. No se tienen que poner de pie. Abran su Biblia a Lucas, el capítulo 7. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 7. Tengo media hora. I have a half an hour. Hallelujah. Glory Jesus. Gloria Tenía más Señor. jóvenes que iban a testificar. There were more young people that were going to testify. Pero te, tuvo miedo, tuvieron miedo. I guess they were a little afraid. Amen. Amen. Luke 7. Pero para la próxima vez. Next time. Amen. Dios está haciendo cosas con nuestra juventud. The Lord is doing great things for our young people. Luke chapter 7. Luke L chapter 7 verse 11. La Evangelio San Lucas capítulo 11. Cuando lo tengan, when you have to say amen. Siete, chapter 7, verse 11, right? Hallelujah. Gracias, Señor Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. So we have a church. Luke 7, 11. Lucas 7, 11. You got it, Kevin? Oh, I mean, it's Hallelujah. Pray the living God. Hallelujah. Thank God it's Friday. Oh. Glory, Jesus. Lucas 7, 11. I have it in English. Thank you, Father. We read in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now it happened the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him and a large crowd. Y aconteció después que él iba a la ciudad que se llama Nain, iban con él muchos de sus discípulos y gran compañía. And when he came near the gate of the city, behold, a dead man was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a large crowd from the city was with her. Y como llegó cerca de la puerta de la ciudad, he aquí que sacaban afuera a un difunto, un ingénito de su madre, la cual también era viuda, y había con ella gran con de compañía de la ciudad. When the Lord saw her, he had what? Compassion. On her, and he said to her, Do not weep. Do not weep. Do not weep. Y como el Señor la vio compadeciéndose de ella, y le dice, No lloréis. Then he came, No lloréis. Then he came and touched the open coffin, and those who carried him stood still, and he said, Young man, I say to you, Arise. Y acercándose tocó el feretro y los, lo que, y los que lo llevaban pararon. Y dice, mancebo, a ti te digo, levántate. So he who was dead sat up and began to speak and he presented him to his mother. Entonces se incorporó el que había muerto y comenzó a hablar y diole a su madre. Then fear came upon all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen up amongst us, and God has visited his people. Y todos tuvieron miedo y glorificaban a Dios diciendo que un gran profeta se ha levantado entre nosotros y que Dios ha visitado su pueblo. And this report about him went throughout all Judea and all the surrounding regions. Y salió esta fama de él por toda Judea y por toda la tierra de alrededor. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Gloria Let us pray.
Oremos. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. We give you glory and honor, Lord. Damos gloria y gracias, Thank Señor. you for allowing us to be in your house. Gracias, Señor, por permitirnos estar en tu casa. Though many of us are weary and tired. Aunque muchos de nosotros estamos cansados. Though many of us going through different types of afflictions. O atravesando diferentes clases de aflicción. And different attacks from the enemy. O ataques del enemigo. But we are in your house, Lord. Pero estamos en tu casa. And we thank you. Y te damos gracias. Because we were able to glorify and worship you. Porque podemos glorificarte y adorarte. Though even though our flesh didn't want to but we push ourselves Lord to the limit to continue to praise you and worship you for many of our afflictions Lord it is to close and shut our mouths but there is still a church God they will still open up their mouth though they have a few though they lack and they are afflicted but they worship the one true God and it's good to know Lord that you are with us and that you fight our battles in this hour Lord strengthen your people fill them up with strength right now fill them up with your Holy Spirit and let them know oh God that their spirit belongs to you and that they are not alone in the name of Jesus amen we see here that we read that the Bible says in verse 11 that, that now it happened that the day after Jesus he went to the city called Nain and it said the day after because the previous day Jesus had done a miracle in Capernaum and this miracle was in regards to the servant of a centurion and the servant of the centurion, he was very sick and he was to the point of death. But we see here that they invite Jesus to his house and on their way there, the centurion says, Master, I am not worthy that you come into my house for I am a man of authority and I have people under me and whatever I tell them to do they go and do he said just say the word just say the word just say the word just say the word and I know that my servant will be healed Jesus was marveled at this because the Bible says that not even in Israel he saw this kind of faith there's different levels of faith there are few of us here today but not all of us are on the same level of faith you even have the gift of faith are you with me? And Jesus was, he was astonished. Y Jesús estaba sorprendido. And at that very hour, en esa misma hora, on their way back, de regreso, this servant el sirviente, el siervo, was healed. Fue sano. There was no need for Jesus no hubo para to Jesús. enter the, this man's house Entrar la casa de centurión. to lay hands on the sick man el mano en el enfermo. so that he may be healed. Para que fuera sano. This is the first time that we see this. Es la primera vez que vemos esto. He was doing miracles. Estaba haciendo he was casting out demons. Estaba echando fuera he was healing those that were afflicted. Lo que estaban afflicted. But he was there. Pero estaba ahí. Now we see a healing go on. Ahora vemos un, una sanidad. And this healing, he wasn't there physically. Y esta sanidad no estaba él ahí físicamente presente. But God knows that this man was sick. Pero Dios sabe que el hombre está enfermo. Let me tell you. Déjame decirle. That in today's day. Que en, esto, en estos días de presente. God is able to. He's capable of doing anything. El Señor es capaz de hacer cualquier cosa. Of healing a sick person. Para sanar un enfermo. Of setting somebody free. Para libertar a alguien. With just the power of prayer. Solo con el poder de la oración. With a prayer full of faith. Una oración llena de fe. Believing in God Almighty. Creyendo en el Dios Todopoderoso. That God can send his word wherever that person may be. El Señor puede mandar su palabra donde And that person could be made full and healed now the day after he does this miracle the Bible says he went to Nain and the Bible said that the disciples went with him and there was a large crowd did you hear that? the disciples were with him and there was a great crowd a large crowd meaning 
¿Qué significa? That revival que el was in the heart of Jesus. En el and when revival Jesus. is ignited and, is on, and it ignites you, it shows with miracle signs and wonders. Se manifiesta a través de milagros y señales. And people wanted to be where Jesus was. Y la gente que la estar donde Jesús. And we see that between the Old Testament and the New Testament, y entre el Viejo Testamento y el Nuevo there was, Testamento. Uh, there was, there was, there was a, 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 a quiet time, a period of 400 years of quiet time. Una época de silencio, there was no prophecy. No había pro no había there was profecía. no word whatsoever. No había palabra. And you may say, why? Y te preguntas, quizá, ¿por qué? Because it was a moment. Where the Messiah was going to get ready to be sent to the earth, to be manifested on the earth, and all the eyes had to be on him. There was a silence of 400 years. That was not coincidence. That was God's perfect plan. And sometimes when there's silence in your life, it doesn't mean that God is not working. It means that the power of God is getting ready to manifest on you. So silence is not always bad. It means that somebody's making the way. It means that God is sending angels on your behalf. He's clearing up the path for you. Limpiando el camino, abriendo el camino. So that when he comes Para él venga, and he sends what you need, a lo que neces tú the path is clear. You can enjoy limpio. the blessing. Vas a poder you de la can be sent with fire. Revival will be ignited within you. Because revival does not start in the church. No te, no en la revival starts in you and it starts in your house. Don't wait for others to get on fire for God. God is waiting on you. We worship you. Hallelujah. And the large crowd was there. They said, I want to be a part of what this man is doing. We're seeing something that we have never seen before. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Milagros, señales, y prodigios. And he, the Bible said that he came to the, he came near the gate of the city. Y la palabra nos dice que él llegó hacia la entrada de la ciudad. Let me tell you something about the gate of a city. Déjame decirle algo de la entrada de la ciudad. And the Bible emphasizes this many times. La palabra nos enfatiza eso muchas veces. The Bible says when Jesus entered the land. La palabra dice que cuando Jesús entró en la tierra. Of gathering. De, de la multitud. Gadara. Eso mismo, Gadara. He entered, he went across from the, in a boat to the land. Él cruzó en una barca hacia la tierra. And the Bible said that he came across y la dice the que gate of a city. Que pasó por la entrada a una ciudad. Por la puerta. La puerta que a gate. gate. The Bible also says la palabra también nos dice when Peter was thrown in, in jail que cuando Pedro fue encarcelado And the church began to pray for Peter. Y la empezó a por Pedro because they already had killed one of the disciples by sword. Ya uno de los fue muerto espada. But Peter was thrown into prison. Pedro fue echado en la And the Bible said that the church began to pray. Y la dice que a for Peter. Por Pedro. And Peter. Y Pedro, in prison. En prisión, he is visited. Es visitado. With an angel. Por un angel. And the angel tells Peter, Peter, fasten your slippers, fasten your shoes, quickly. And Peter did. And the angel told Peter, follow me. And he followed him across in, in, through the hallway. And they went through two prison guards. Or two, or two cells. But the Bible says that at the very end they came to an iron gate and the angel broke open the iron gate and Peter was able to come out into the street to continue preaching the gospel. There are things that happen in the gates, in the city gates. There are spiritual activity that happens at the gates 
puerta a la ciudad. And the gates is not just anything. Y las puertas no solo cualquier cosa. Because the gates have significance. Porque significan algo. And the Bible says in Nehemiah. Y la palabra nos dice en Nehemiah. That the, the walls of Jerusalem. Que las paredes de Jerusalén. And they had walls and they had gates. Y bien muralla y bien también puerta. And there was a total of about nine gates. Un aproximado nueve puertas. They had the fish gate. Estaba la de los peces. Where the people that when fishing Donde los pescadores, they will bring the fish that they gather to the fish gate los peces que habían pescado, and there they will do transactions and they will sell and buy the fish y hacían venta, transacciones. and not everybody was able to come in and out through these gates no todo el mundo podía entrar y salir there was, the fish were inspected the transaction was inspected Porque se esperaba la la, 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 la transacción las de fue in, in, amen. they had the fish gate they had the old gate También estaba la entrada vieja, they the had the valley gate la entrada al valle. The dung gate. Dumb? The dung, eh, basura. Oh, la entrada por donde botaban la basura. There was a gate where they would throw all the garbage. La salida. There was a fountain gate. La entrada de la fuente. Where they would get water. Por donde recibían Or a agua. water gate. There was a horse gate. La entrada para los caballos. There was an east gate. Una para este. An inspection gate. Una inspección. And a sheep gate. Una para las ovejas. Each gate. Cada entrada had a purpose. O cada puerta tenía un propósito. Not everyone was able to enter and come out. No todo el mundo puede entrar por cualquier puerta. But there was transaction that happened at the gate. Porque había transacciones que ocurrían. Let me tell you, in the spiritual realm, en el mundo espiritual, of every city, de cada ciudad, there are spiritual transactions that happen at every gate. Hay transacciones. And the reason cada why there are certain there are certain states. Y la razón porque algunos estados. Where we see. Donde vemos. Chicago, Chicago, the violence, la the crime, el crime, the murder, New York City, la the York, crime, crime, the murder rate, muerte, the abortions, aborto, California. California, and we see why these states are the way they are. It's because there's a spiritual, demonic activity at the gate of this state, and they need to be confronted. These are the states where Satan operates heavily in. Chicago, New York, California. Baltimore. When you go to the city of Newburgh, what do you see in the city of Newburgh? There's demonic activities in Newburgh, in the city of Newburgh. And the sad thing is that the The church is not confronting those gates. Que las iglesias no están confrontando esas puertas. I believe prayer works. Yo creo que la oración. I believe there's power in prayer. Yo creo que hay poder en la oración. But you can't just pray just to pray. Tú solo no puedes orar por orar. Your prayer also has to be strategic. La oración tiene que ser estratégica. There's principalities. Hay principales. There's dark forces in the air. Hay fuerzas de tinieblas. They control. Que controlan. That system. Eso sistema. <laughs> People don't understand this. I might be getting too spiritual for some. Esto es espiritual. Why do you think when Jacob was sleeping in the rock? ¿Por qué cuando Jacob oró, and he had a dream. Dormía en la, en la roca. And the tu, dream was. Tuvo un sueño, that he saw angels. Que habían ángeles, and the angels were ascending and descending. Y que ángeles bajaban, there y was a spiritual activity going on there. Había actividad espiritual. That's what God was trying to show Jacob. Y eso es lo que el Señor mostró so a Jacob. when Jacob woke up. So, para cuando Jacob se levantó, he said God is truly in this place dijo, Verdaderamente, Dios se encuentra aquí. he said God is in this place after he wakes up Dios está en este lugar. but he had a dream Pero tuvo un sueño. he said the land that you are in la tierra donde te encuentras, I'm going to give it to you te la voy a dar. but he had to see angels Pero tenía que ver so when God gives a land to his people cuando Dios le da una tierra when God a gives, gives a land or, 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 a lot, or a building to a church cuando Dios le da un terreno a una just iglesia, know there's angels going up and down upstairs subiendo y bajando. that land is being preserved for you Esa tierra está siendo preservada. So Jesus comes to the gate of the city. So Jesus, llega a la entrada, a las And the Bible says, y la palabra nos dice, when Jesus was talking to Peter, que cuando Jesús le hablaba a Pedro, he said, upon this rock, dijo, Sobre esta roca, I'm going to build my church. Edificaré mi iglesia. And the gates 
y las puertas and the gates y las puertas and the gates y las puertas of hell del will not prevail no against the church sobre la iglesia we're talking about gates estamos hablando de puertas spiritual gates puertas espirituales not gates that you can see with your eyes no puertas que puedes ver con tus ojos because the gates have a purpose porque las puertas tienen un propósito and behold a dead man y entonces el hombre aquí muerto el difunto was being carried out of the city lo llevaban fuera de la ciudad and the bible says in verse 12 la nos dice en el versículo 12 this dead man que ese hombre muerto was the son of a mother era el hijo de una madre and she was a widow y ella era viuda and a large crowd una gran multitud from the city de la ciudad was with her estaba con ella let's stop right here vamos para ahí jesus is coming jesus viene the disciples are with him los discípulos están con él the bible says there's a large crowd with jesus la palabra dice que hay una gran multitud now the bible says there's a dead man la palabra dice que hay un hombre muerto they're carrying the dead man out of the city están llevando el hombre muerto fuera de la ciudad and this dead man was the only son y este era el único hijo of a mother and she was a widow and the Bible says that with the mother was a large crowd the woman had a large crowd Jesus has a large crowd oh what a great scene to perform a miracle we're talking about thousands of people about to witness a miracle que iban a, a ver un, el acontecer de un milagro. See, Jesus, is, God is smart. Es Dios es bien sabio. That's what the Bible says. Es lo que la palabra nos dice. That what you pray in public. Lo que tú oras en público. God rewards you in, uh, what would you pray in secret. Lo que tú oras en secreto. He rewards you in public. Él te lo contesta en público. So everybody can see. Para que todos vean. What have you been praying for? What you've been praying for? ¿Para qué estás orando? What you have been praying for? ¿Para qué tú estás orando? What you have been praying for? ¿Para qué estás orando? Lo que tú has estado orando. Eso mismo. That's right. That's right. What have you been praying for? The petitions that you have. Esas peticiones que tienen. Dios la va a contestar en público. Dios la va a contestar en público. God's gonna answer them in public. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a sad scenario. Qué escena tan triste. This woman, esta mujer, not too long ago, lost her husband. No único perdió su esposo. No We don't know exactly how long she lost her husband. No sabemos cuánto tiempo llevaba de viuda. And now, y ahora, she's losing her only son. Va, acaba de perder su único hijo. Could you imagine the pain this woman is going through? Puedes pensar del dolor en ese corazón de esa madre. In other words, we can say that she has nobody. Podemos decir que ya no tiene nada. When she lost her husband, cuando perdió su esposo, she had her son to comfort her. Tenía su hijo para que le diera consuelo. Why do you think when Jesus was on the cross? ¿Por qué tú crees que cuando Jesús estaba en la cruz? He said, John. Le dijo Juan. Mary, behold your son. Madre y tu hijo. Because she saw the pain that he was going through. Vio el dolor. She needed comfort. Necesitaba consuelo. So John, the beloved disciple John. Juan, el amado, el discípulo amado. God left him in charge of Mary. Lo dejó encargado de María. We see something here. Vemos algo aquí. Compassion. Compasión. The Bible says in verse 13, nos dice en el 13 that when the Lord saw her, que Dios la vio, how many know that God sees you? Saben que Dios los ve? He had compassion. Él tiene Se de ella. He had compassion on her. My God. Mi Dios. He had compassion on her. And he came to her. And he tells her. Do not weep. No llores. Do not weep. No llores. Her son is still dead. El hijo todavía está muerto. Her son is still in the coffin. Todavía está en, en el ataúd. But he comes straight to her. 
He comes straight to her. And he said, do not weep. My God. What a compassionate God you serve. How can God tell the mom? How can you, how is Jesus telling the mother? He has not even resurrected her son yet. And he's telling her, do not weep. I believe God is telling somebody tonight though you have not seen the miracle though you have not seen the promise though you have not seen what God said he will do he's telling you do not weep you've been crying too long you've been crying day after day and you've been saying God but when but why am I going through the situation why I'm being attacked why things are so hard why my finances are squeezing me why I can't pay my bills why my health is this way do not weep why my family is dysfunctional why my kids are rebellious and don't serve the Lord do not weep do not weep for God is getting ready to do it church God is getting ready to do it church hallelujah and that is point number one I want to give you today do not weep trust God many are the afflictions of the righteous but from all of those God will free you I was praying back there Friday night and all I could do is pray in tongues and I heard the Lord say Anthony, Anthony have you, don't you think they have not seen the affliction of my people don't you think that I have not seen the affliction of my people just hold on a little bit longer the reward is coming I'm not emotional so I think you could take that word hallelujah praise the Lord church hallelujah you are in victory your situation is in the hands of the Lord do not be worried hallelujah do not be worried about tomorrow do not be worried about what you're going to eat about what you're going to close for God is already there in the same way that God feeds the birds of the air how much more us that we are children of God how much more will he give us when things get hard our mind begin to run and begin to say Lord are you really there that happened, that happened, to, that happened, to, that happened to anybody here Lord are you really there I don't know. No sé. You still have to trust God. Todavía hay que confiar en Dios. Even when things don't make sense. Aun cuando las cosas no tengan sentido. Even when your husband doesn't serve the Lord. Aun cuando tu esposo no sirva a Dios. Even when your children are not serving the Lord. Aun cuando tus niños no están sirviendo a Dios. Then Jesus comes. Porque entonces viene Jesús. After he tells the mother, do not weep. Después que le dice la mamá que no llores. The Bible says in verse 14. Versículo 14. Then he came. Que él vino. And he touched. Y tocó. The open, the open coffin. Coffin. El féretro. El féretro, eso mismo. Abierto. Abierto. Wake up. He touched it. Tocó el féretro. <laughs> He touched the coffin. Tocó la caja del muerto. Whatever God touches, Todo lo que Dios toca, it will come to life. Viene vida. It may look Aunque se vea, like you're losing. Que estás perdiendo. It may look Aunque parezca, like it's decreasing. Que está en declino. It may look Aunque parezca, like it's dead. Te muerto. It may look Aunque parezca, like there's nothing there. No hay nada ahí. But 
But just be ready. Prepárate. Because when God shows up, Llega el Señor, and his hand is all over it y la mano de Dios está puesta, it don't matter what situation no you're in la que te it don't matter how dead it is no when, he's, when he appears se aparece, when he manifests se and he touches it y lo toca, something's going to happen algo va a pasar. and he touches the open coffin y toca la caja so the coffin was open everybody saw the dead man abierta. todo el mundo podía ver al hombre fallecido And those that carry the coffin y los que iban cargando el féretro, stood still. Se pararon en silencio. They couldn't even, they were not moving. No se podían mover. Touched the coffin. Tocó el féretro. They stopped moving. Pararon de moverse. Be still. Mantente quieto. Está quieto. Be still and know that he's God. Conozca que él es Dios. Be still. Mantente quieto. And know y that he is God. Que él es Dios. Many times, Muchas veces, we don't know that he is God because no we're not staying still. Porque no estamos quieto. Okay. Okay. Vamos ¿Qué para más aquí? tengo que hacer? Vamos para allá. La, 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 la ropa. Oh, wash the clothes. Frega los trastes, cocinar. Wash the Ay, bañarme. Mañana que me voy a poner tengo que trabajar. Eh, de gasolina, gasolina, tengo que poner gasolina. Maquillaje, maquillaje. El pelo, el pelo. Ay, mi familia allá en, en Dominica Republicana. Mi familia en Puerto Rico. Ay, mis hijos, mis hijos, mis hijas. Ay, mi esposa, mi esposa. Ay, ay, la caja está limpia. Ay, 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 la ropa. Be still. Mantente quieto. And know that he is God. You won't know he is God because no you're not being still. No está quieto. Marta, 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 you are worried. Preocupada. You are too worried. Preocupada. Your sister, tu hermana, Mary or Marta, I got it right? Sí, Marta, y María, Marta, Marta and her sister. Oh, well, her sister. La <laughs> Marta está muy ocupada. Marta sat at the feet of Jesus. Mary, sorry. Mary fell at, sat at the feet of Jesus. From the moment that Jesus entered the house, Mary sat at the feet of Jesus to learn a word from him. But Martha, I got to get Jesus some water. I got to clean my house to teach the masters here. Oh my God. I got to wash the dishes. And she was not able, she was not able to receive the word. And sometimes we cannot get in the word. Because I'm too busy with my life. And because I'm not in the word. I can't remain still. I'm always questioning God. I'm always doubting God. My faith goes down. And my faith goes up. And then it goes down. And then it goes up. It's like a stock market. But guess what? Your faith should be in Increasing every single day. You got people like the stock market. When there's a 90% crash, whoa, boy. They're getting ready to leave the church. They're getting ready to blame somebody in church. We should be as Christians. You should learn something new every day about God. You should learn something new about the Word. And that's why God allows the, uh, the, uh, the storms. Storms. Because the storm will force you to trust in God. If the storm don't come, you might not even make it as a Christian. But the storm brings you tight with God sometimes are you here with me church and he touched the coffin and he speaks to the dead body he spoke to the dead body he said young man Though he was dead, muerto, he was still a young man. Era joven. 
His identity was still there. Young man, Mancebo, I say to you, a ti te digo, arise. Levántate. He was dead. Estaba muerto. But God still knew. Jesus still knew. Pero Jesús todavía sanó. His identity. He did not say, Él no dijo, dead man, hombre muerto, arise. Levántate. He said, young man, Pero Mancebo, Call him by his name, by his destiny, by his identity. I say to your eyes, so he that was dead, he sat up and he began to speak, and dead people don't talk. But he began to speak. Pero empezó, comenzó a hablar. Because life came into him. Porque la vida entró en And él. the Bible says la palabra nos that dice God is the author of life. Que Dios el dador de la vida. Ezekiel, Ezekiel, can these dry bones live? Estos huesos vivirán? Lord, you know it. Señor, tú lo conoces. Ezekiel, Ezekiel. prophesy Profetizó. to the dry bones. The dry bones were not, were, were not buried. They were on the surface. It was a valley of dry bones. But they were not buried. The, the, the coffin was not closed. It was open. And even better, it was not under six feet. It came just in time. You need to know that God always comes in time. God never comes too early. But he never comes too late. I've seen the hand of God come. Right on time. It almost looked like the door was closing. But he came right on time. <laughs> My God. The young man was not buried. And the coffin was not closed. There was hope for him. Because there was a divine appointment. And he comes. Y vino, and he stands up. Y se le va, se Hallelujah. And he began to speak. Y comenzó a hablar. And Jesus. Y Jesús presented. Presentó that young man. A ese joven. Back to his mother. What you lost is being get to be restored. What looked like it was dead. God is getting ready to restore it. To give it back to you. Threefold. Threefold. Triple. And then the Bible says y la palabra nos dice, to finish up para concluir, that great fear ese gran temor came upon all. Vino sobre todos. Let me tell you decirle, there is a fear of the Lord hay un temor de Dios that has been lost. Que ha sido perdido. I repeat that. There is a fear of the Lord hay un temor de Dios that had been lost. Que ha sido perdido that have been forgotten, that have been put aside. But what God is doing in this time, He is getting ready to bring fear, the fear of the Lord. For the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. And if people do not believe by the preaching of the word, they are going to begin to believe by the miracle signs and wonders and In the Bible, in, la palabra, in the book of Acts, en el libro de Hechos, in the gospel, en los and even in the Old Testament with the prophets, o en lo, con los en el dead Dios, people personas muertas, came back to life. A la vida. I say this, Yo digo esto, in 2022, el 2022 and on, en adelante, I believe Yo creo that dead people que gente muerta, will come to life because God's going to position 
His ministers. Because the Bible says there is something the angels desire to see. And it's that the ministers of the Lord are like a flame of fire. The ministers of the Lord are like a flame of fire. Los ministros de Dios son como una llama encendida. Burning flames of fire. Cosa que ángeles that which angels anhelan ver. Have yearned for. Aleluya. 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 And just like Jesus here. Y de la misma manera que vemos Jesús aquí. That he was fue, él estaba posicionado. That he was in a position en el tiempo indicado y el tiempo correcto time, Dios está levantando una generación ministros como llama de fuego like que no le tengan fire, miedo a Goliat que no le tengan miedo a Isabel que no le tengan miedo al diablo y se levanten bajo la unción del Espíritu Santo you, le, leemos de David We have read of David. Pero vamos a ver David. But now we're going to see David. Hoy en día, in today's world, derrotando a Goliath. Defeating Goliath. That's what God is doing. Eso es lo que Dios está haciendo. In this time. En esta época. And let me tell you. Y déjeme decirle. That God. Que Dios. Is not done. No ha terminado. Shaking of the church. He is still shaking the church. He la is still he is still removing. Está he is still he is still splitting up the tear with the wheat. La del trigo. He is still moving things around in the church. And there's something strange that will happen. It's going to happen in the church. Because there's celebrity preachers and celebrity ministers that God is getting ready to expose. Because it's not the gospel that he's talking about. It's not the gospel that we know. And the Spirit of God is moving. And it's moving the waters. And it's moving the foundation. And there's things that's going to happen that's going to test the faith of many Christians. Many prodigal sons will return back to the house because God is bringing restoration in their families. And what God did here with this young man, He brought restoration back to the mom. And the Bible says in Malachi 4 6 that He will turn the hearts of the father back to the children and the heart hearts of the children back to the fathers. You think COVID was it? COVID is not the only thing. God is still shifting. God is still moving. He's still removing. Hallelujah. And they said a great prophet have risen amongst us and the Bible said that they glorify God because when they see the miracle signs and the wonders the only thing that the atheist is going to say my God, my God God is truly real and they're going to give their life to Christ and the harvest is coming and the harvest will come because what's going to happen in the church and what's going to happen in the streets will be very unusual will be very different it will not be your normal church the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost he doing something unusual in the hearts of the people in the believer as not the believer and God is doing something new because hallelujah the latter glory will be greater than the former the latter glory will be greater than the former get ready church get ready church 
Even in the midst of your affliction. Even in the midst of your cry. When you don't have any more strength. Keep proclaiming. The word of the Lord. The word God promised. He is getting ready to do it. I'm telling you right now. My wife is getting ready to walk soon. I'm telling you right now. The sick are going to get healed. The blind are going to recover their sight. The afflicted of the spirit are going to be healed. The Bible says. That John the Baptist sends two messengers to Jesus. And he tells the messenger. He said, tell Jesus. Are you the coming one? Or are we looking for another one? And as soon as the messenger come to Jesus, they tell him, are you the coming one? Or do we look for another? And when he heard that, the Bible says, he cured many of infirmities, of afflictions, of evil spirits, of those who were blind. He gave sight we're going to see people in wheelchairs begin to walk people who couldn't hear begin to hear blind people begin to see people with no hands and no legs recover their legs and their hands people that are tormented by demons are going to be set free that is revival that is the gospel it's not just preach and go home it's preach with the miracle the signs and the wonders so people will believe and there's a prophet oh the unbeliever will say God truly is in this house God truly is speaking in this house that's what our spiritual gifts are important but Paul said pursue love and desire the gifts, the spiritual gifts. Don't just say, God, use me. Let me drink some water before I go any further. Paul said, Wow, Paul, I love Paul. After Jesus is Paul. But we don't know how Paul operated in the spirit. Paul said, I speak more in tongues than all of you. Pablo dijo, yo hablo más lengua de todos ustedes. Paul said, pursue love Pablo dijo, el amor and desire the spiritual gifts. Y los dones del I, believe that, I believe that the church for a season Creo que la iglesia en esta etapa have forgotten to desire the spiritual gifts se ha los dones del because they grew cold. Se, se But I believe that's coming back Pero eso viene de nuevo. because God is raising up a young generation, el Señor está una generación a generation joven, of Davids, una generación of de King David, Josiahs, de Josías, that will break the altars of their parents or their fathers de los padres, and say, in this house, y dirán, esta we're going to serve the Lord. Vamos a we're going to see young people Vamos a ver jóvenes, slay Goliath. Matar a Goliath. There's nothing wrong with that. No hay nada eso. If they slay Goliath, si matan a Goliath guess what? ¿sabe qué? Let them slay ten thousands. Let me slay a thousand. Let me slay a thousand. Let me slay a thousand. Let them slay ten thousand. It's not competition. It's all good. But Paul knew the importance of the spiritual gifts. Talent. Talent. You're born with spiritual gifts Dones espirituales come vienen when, you're, when, you're, when you're born again cuando naces de nuevo. and when you seek the filling of the Holy Ghost y cuando busca la llenura del Espíritu Santo. so when I pray cuando yo oro, you know what I pray? Hay que oro. God use me in tongues Usa en mi lengua. use me in prophecy Usame en profecía. use me in faith Usame en fe. use me in miracles Usame en milagro. You, I say oh nine Digo, todos los nueve. that's me I desire it yo lo deseo, and I also I gotta do my part y tengo que hacer mi parte. but if you don't desire it Pero si no lo deseas, don't wait for you to be preaching up here and then God starts to begin to use you no estar acá arriba, if no you don't desire, desire it you ain't gonna have it si no lo desea, no lo va a tener. that's a fact Esto es verdad. <clears throat> many people want to give their life to God today and tomorrow they want to start prophesying y mañana, a that don't work that way 
Eso no trabaja así. But it's important that the church es importante que la iglesia begin to desire comienza a desear the spiritual gifts. Los regalos espirituales. Oh, DJ Avila. Oh, DJ Avila. Oh, this preacher, that, you know, great preacher and evangelist. That's what they paid the price. Ellos el they precio. desire the spiritual gifts. They live holy lives. Y vidas and miracles, signs, and wonders follow them. Y y los These signs Estas will follow those van a that believe que creen. in my name. En mi nombre. They will cast out demons. Fuera They will lay hands on the sick. Manos a los They will be healed. Serán sanos. They will speak in new tongues. Nuevas Not old tongues. No They will speak in new tongues. Nuevas I tell the Lord in my prayer life. Mi I tell the Lord in my prayer life. Mi vida oración, Give me new tongues. Te digo, Give me different nuevas. languages. Nuevo. That's me. That's Ese me. It don't have to be you. No tiene que ser tú. <laughs> I know the power that's in tongues. And to finish, the Bible says, Para concluir, the Bible doesn't say, but I did a research yo, uh, busqué, that when you speak in tongues, lenguas, there's a part of your brain cerebro, that goes dormant. Que se that part of the brain Esa parte tu cerebro, is that part of the brain that worries a lot. Es la que se so when you speak in tongues, en lenguas, they did scientific study that when you speak in tongues they did a study of the brain that part of the brain shuts down and there's a communication that begins to happen a spiritual communication between you and the father oh, you ain't know that <laughs> you ain't know that one right if you don't speak in tongues Oh my God, God, why are you doing this? My God. And I can't stay quiet, I have to say it. What happened with the churches that the church have gotten very, very religious and people who don't speak in tongues yet they get upset with those that do because those that, have, those that spoke in tongues or speak in tongues they make this a religious thing and they made it seem like because they speak in tongues they more holy than the one they don't speak in tongues so they become religious people and the person they don't speak in tongues they get upset and they don't desire that gift Uh, that's been speaking tongues they're religious they, they, they're crazy they're crazy Pentecostal but that's because pero eso es por qué. The church gave them a, a bad view about speaking in tongues. La iglesia le presentó la hablar en lengua negativamente. I grew up with that. Yo me crié en eso. I grew up with that. They think that because they have the gifts, se cree que porque tienen los dones, they better, they flashier. Son mejores. And they got, they got spiritual gift pride. Y tienen un orgullo de tener dones. Dude, this is about mercy and grace. Esto, esto es you don't deserve none of this. Y amor. You should have, we should have been in hell on a, on a soul train straight no to hell. De, merecemos esto, era para que estuviéramos en el infierno. But the spiritual gifts is for the church edification. And the speaking in tongues y el en lengua is for self-edification. Are you with me? Están conmigo. Are you with me? Están conmigo. A desire to speak in tongues Desea hablar lengua. and practice that daily. Y practica eso oh, there's power in speaking in tongues. Hay poder en hablar lengua. And, I say, and I say that as a non-religious. Yo no digo eso como uno no religioso. I say that as a Jesus lover. Como uno que ama a Jesús. <laughs> Are you with me, church? Está conmigo, iglesia. So God is getting ready to do something. So Dios está preparando para hacer algo. Extraordinary. Extraordinario. Eyes have not seen. Porque ojo no ha visto. Ear have not heard. Oído no ha escuchado. The things. Las cosas. That the Lord has prepared. Que el Señor ha preparado. Let's stand on our